Hey folks, Dave here, and welcome back to Fallout 4, and our location here at Warwick Homestead, where I'm turning this partially beached tugboat into a fortified homestead. And today, I'm going to work on an idea that I'm pulling directly from the comments of last episode, because I liked it so much. I'm going to look over here at the water treatment plant itself here at Warwick. As you guys can see, I've cleaned up some of the bridge work here that I collapsed into it. We have this industrial sized water purifier and even though I already have a water plant for my Minutemen Empire, I really like the idea of this location not only being a trading hub and perhaps a dock for the bay here with Spectacle Island slash Pleasure Island just across the bay right there, but being an additional resource for getting some clean water out there into the wasteland. After all, that was one of the main plot points of Fallout 3. So besides that industrial sized water purifier over there on the outside, <laughs> on a side note, I've got to scrap these toilets. I had these here uh, to raise the happiness in the settlement. They're not rigged right and everyone uh, sitting on them backwards is driving me crazy. Oh, um, wow, that was a complete distraction. Besides that massive industrial water purifier over there, which is kind of exposed and open to attack, one of you guys had a really fantastic idea for this inner room right here, which I had thought might make a great bathroom, but that's kind of boring, right? You guys had the idea of actually turning this into a water purification system for the ship and so I like that a lot and with place everywhere I can kind of glitch things into place so here's my plan I'm gonna set up this water pumping room essentially figure out which one of these fits in it best and we're gonna rig a, a water purification uh, pumping network from the different parts of this settlement with some overhead pipes and this location will be selling volume units of purified water perhaps barrels so besides being a trading and shipping hub this settlement is going to deal in water and to answer a question from last time i didn't rescale the uh power reactor because Objects that have rigging, like the power reactor and the water purifiers, they act a little wonky if you resize them, so I generally try and avoid that, uh, which is why I put the power unit uh, over in the main structure. But I am going to resize a couple of these water pumps because I want to use two different kinds in here to give it a uh, cluttered machinery look. There we go just place these wherever I want so we'll put this one over in the corner and this one's gonna have its original size but we'll clip it just like that so that'll be why uh, these are so well protected why this room is so well protected is because it contains valuable water pumps. I guess the purifier is part of the same system, so it's kind of like an all-in-one deal. If you protect the pumps, you're protecting the purification as well. Where is that power line going to? I'll just string a couple of these up and clip them through uh, to get power to those pumps for now. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I figured those would animate pretty well. This gives our pumping room a pretty slick look. And let me show you guys what I have in mind for our water pipes. Well, I haven't found the pipes I'm looking for yet, but I did find these metal uh, support beams, which... Are pretty much what I was looking for for well the support beams so I'm gonna go ahead and place a couple of these as you guys can see here I finally found the pipes I was looking for 
Under my SKE and decorations category, I have some greebles, which are just essentially background decorations. Weird stuff like antennas, and in this case, piping. Now this is supposed to be uh, steam piping, but I think it works well as water piping as well. So I'm gonna go through here and put some supports through wherever we have one of these high points in the line. We'll put an extra support in like that. Make the connection look as believable as possible. So some of these supports that I'm floating right now are gonna have to either be resized or get additional supports below them. Let's try resizing first. Just to cut down on the amount of objects that we have to build. That's pretty close right there. So yeah, these might just have to be resized slightly in order to fit. It's not too bad. That piece is kind of awkward though, let's fix that one a bit. It really looks like our tugboat is pumping water for the treatment plant. That's really cool. Um, this one is going to be a really tall one. And I think I'm going to need one more support back here. To my left right now. Maybe even two more supports. I'm going to hop over to structures, wood, and miscellaneous, where I should have a wooden bridge piece. Uh, maybe I'll actually use one of these. have a scrappy bit right in the center of the settlement holding up our water pipes. Uh, for these though, I think instead of resizing, because they're over the water, we're going to give them uh, some actual pillars. I think that's also under the miscellaneous category. Just gotta get to the very, very end. Yep, there's our pillars. This one's actually a pier style post, which fits nicely. It's a little small, but I think it's close enough to look good like our supports are just resting on it. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty cool. That's essentially exactly what I had in mind. Spiffy. So, two more supports for this <laughs> support over here. And then we can make our connection inside of the armored hull of the ship. That's awesome. That fits in so well with the half-destroyed water plant. It's the apocalyptic rebuilding of the station. And I think even though I already have a Minutemen water processing plant, given how much my empire of settlements has expanded, a central water location that's even larger would make sense. And this just looks really cool. To get a few more bits of piping, I'm going to go right back to SKE, Decorations and Greebles. And I'm going to probably get 
one of the metal pipings. Something like this, perhaps. That's a bit large, even with resizing. Uh, some kind of pipe section to connect the outer pipe here with the inner pipe. Aluminum is not cheap, and I'm going through quite a bit of it here. Just gonna clip a couple of these pipe pieces through here like this. That'll get us over to the center of the floor, which should be basically directly over top uh, of the pump room. And we'll just pretend like those cracks in the pipe aren't there. Building stuff like this piece by piece does give you some very unique detailing for a location. So we've got a couple of pipes like that. Where is that pump room? Also, where did uh, where did my pipe go? I thought I built one. You know what we could do is just go down below and see where it's coming through. Okay, it's kind of off to the side. I'm going to clip it into the top of this uh, left purifier right there. Now, I need some greebles that will act as connecting pieces because as you guys can see the back of this pipe piece is transparent and this connection right here does not quite look right even if we rotate that slightly. So we need some kind of piece to seal those gaps. It can look scrappy, but it can't be just floating patchwork like right there on the end. That does not look good. So let's find a couple of small industrial greebles to seal those holes. Here we go. Stuff like this. So that will have to be on a pallet of some kind, most likely. To raise it up or we can just raise the floor up I guess there we go that hides that connection and then a similar process for over here I'm gonna leave those rivets visible on the left side like that <laughs> All right, that's really cool looking. Just needs that base piece underneath. Uh, let's see, wood floors, I think. We'll have the piece that I'm looking for. Just a small piece of wood floor for now. I'll turn snapping off temporarily. There we go, this really thick floor piece. Well, is actually not needed. Just the thin one is plenty. I'll use the scrappy plywood version. Check that out, guys. Our piping that goes right out the wall. Okay, one more greeble for over here, just because that connection does not look good either. Uh, but overall, this is looking really nifty. Now look at that, a wall panel one. So I'm going to put that one like this, and then put two metal pieces holding up each side of it. Like it's the final pressure gauge heading out to the pumps. Uh, that's a bit big in the full-size crane. But here we go, these half-sized I-beams on each side. Sh 
should do the trick. We can actually clip them into the ground there. Right about that height it looks to be mostly correct. <laughs> now I've blocked myself out of the corner. Make sure that was not floating. And from down below, how is it looking? Pretty legit. And we're going to have a console of some kind right here in the corner for maintaining pressure and whatnot. Well, let's go ahead and grab that. I think we'll do Homemaker and Decorations Electronics. Looking for an old scrappy console. Ranger Dave's Survival Tips. Yeah, you know what? We'll have this entire console be our control station for the pump. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. I feel like that's a little bit out of rotation. Move it back just a tad. Okay. I'll add a work light later to give that room a little bit of extra color. I like that orange light from the uh, generator piece right there, so I might have to make use of that. I am just realizing that that is clipping slightly, so I'll just make a very slight adjustment to our pipes up top. But yeah, I'll come back and add that light later on. It's a water purifier viaduct. Okay guys, I'm going to do some cleanup on the inside of the pumping station here to make room for where our Minutemen are going to be bottling up all of this water which will be heading out across the Commonwealth. Again, as you guys can see, it's my <laughs> junkie orphanage essentially because I was just using this settlement to spawn people in. So let me go and do some cleanup and we'll make room for our factory floor here. So I've cleared out a bunch of the extra bunk beds that were in here. And thanks to Place Everywhere, I can scrap a couple of these previously unscrappable beds as well because I want part of this to be our water plant floor because, well, it's already a water plant and that's gonna work really well. There is this awkward body it's a uh, a named character yeah cedric that has a note implying that uh mr warwick himself just might be a synth but i can't seem to do anything with his body i'm afraid to scrap it because he's a named character don't want to crash the game or corrupt my save game <laughs> i tried taking all of his clothes and dragging them uh, dragging his corpse out the door but he keeps snapping back to that piece of plywood so we're gonna do the next best thing here and we're gonna hide his body with some greebles here <laughs> the leg is just sticking right through i'll try the cart there at first but this is where our pumping system is going to come into the building so we've got a couple of different options for machinery that we could use here we go this might save us some <laughs> body hiding time right here. I'll just place this entire control panel over top the body there. It's the perfect crime, guys. He's now part of the foundation of the settlement. I'll leave this cart here because it might still be useful as a, a decorative piece, but I'm going to grab one of our pipe details here because this is where it's going to connect to a we'll say previous existing uh, pipe system 
that roughly lined up? No, not even close. We'll put a couple of these down. And then there'll be some kind of connecting piece. And then a water pump with some faucets. Still looking for a bigger pipe connection. I wonder if this would do the trick. Actually, yeah, that's almost the perfect length right there. I'm going to resize this one a little bit. Make sure it's still roughly aligned over here. It is not. Okay. And we'll just clip these two pipes together. And then in this case, we really don't need that connecting piece. Uh, if that one will just cooperate, it can go right into the side of our receiver unit here, just like so. That looks pretty good, guys. Pretty good indeed. Let's do a quick save. What I want to do for the interior here is actually keep some of these civilian quarters because I really like this bit of detailing that's already here. With the beds just tucked away like that. So, I'm going to move that cart out of the way for a second. There's a new mod that I'm trying that you guys suggested down in the comments a few episodes ago, I think possibly on one of the prison build episodes, and that is CVC, which has a ton of really just fantastic stuff uh, in it. And one of the things that I spotted is this utility room prefab. So if we're going with the idea that uh, this would have been a divided factory floor, this would make a perfect divider which would be a reason why they're still using this uh, as living quarters as well is because they've got a nice divider piece in place. It even has a little bit of a uh, roof and wall section. Nifty. Now I am seeing that uh, that snapping's a bit wonky. So let's go on to the wall with it. Doesn't like having that pillar there. There we go. So this will help to naturally divide out the factory floor from the living quarters. I don't think anyone else has beds left back here, do they? No. This is all factory floor. So this will be our water treatment plant area right here. Yeah, I'm noticing that a lot of this trash and uh, cardboard and plywood, even with extra object selection enabled with Place Everywhere, I can't do anything with it. So we're going to have to work around the trash, but uh, that's okay guys, I do enjoy a challenge. For our water treatment area, where they're bottling up uh, all of these water supplies, I'm thinking barrels are going to be one of the primary things used for it. Got some water pumps like that. Let me look over real quick at... Uh, SKE again, and then resources and water, where we're going to find a couple of different uh, unusual water items, including some very fancy water tanks. But what I was thinking of is actually this rainwater collector. I think here we're going to use that 
as a basin for collecting uh, water that then gets bottled. Or in our case, barreled, I suppose. So it will be empty because I think it requires rain to fill up with the water animation. But we can work with this. I wonder if we could even have a big tank like that. Move it back against the wall. Not quite that far against the wall. Have that over the collection area right here. We even have our dolly already in place for moving the water. And uh, while I'm here, I'm going to place a couple of these uh, water coolers. What I'm imagining here, guys, is that uh, we've got a pump running water from the outside system into this water tank. And this collector is just for overflow. So we're going to go over to, let's say, not scaffolding, let's do warehouse floors, the ones with the mesh base to them. This is going to be our platform once we line it up for filling up our water barrels for sale and transport. Oh, wrong axis. I'll just snap these two to that one. Tricky part's gonna be. Oh wow, down to below a thousand steel. Tricky part's gonna be getting a ramp to look good uh, with how I have the uh, walls set up here. But I think we can do it. We do have a lot of room on the other side of the room though. So we can have our down ramp, perhaps, over here. Just need to lower it like that. Make sure we have enough room for walking. Uh, underneath, that needs to go higher for sure. So I'll raise the uh, water tower up some as well. It's getting a little tricky with these overhead pipes. You guys will have to trust me on this. I have a vision in mind, I think. It's just got to be high enough to walk under. There we go. Is that fitting? That's fitting there. That's good. Make sure there's plenty of room for getting a barrel of water underneath. You guys know me, we're going to have supports for the platform here. And for our water tank, of course. So the rainwater collector has got to go over this way a little bit. So this would have been maybe just a storage tank that we've jury-rigged to be a dispenser. And I'll go ahead and put a couple of uh, different pieces in here to break up the tiling. Do one like that and one like that. So now we have our barrel filling platform. It's probably slightly less radioactive than the freshwater sources, but it requires a lot of purification. So this facility is a way of taking care of that and getting some water ready for export, essentially. Is that post in the middle of the door? Pretty close to it.
Gonna lower that post down some. Let's see. There we are. Put a few in on uh, this side as well. And turning snapping off briefly, our water tank also needs some supports. Okay, so we have our collector underneath the loading platform. Our ramp down. And a way to just roll those barrels right out the door. I'll put a warehouse door in here as well. Will that snap? Might have to do this one manually. Door is not meant for this wall section, but uh, hopefully it won't clip. Let's find out. Woo! Close. Close, but I think that works, guys. All right, let's add in some detail here. And I think our base water plant is gonna be basically in place here. First up, I want to get uh, one overarching light here because it's just a little bit too dim. It's really atmospheric, but for the work area, I wanna have at least one decently bright uh, work light. Let's go with an orange one here. That's still pretty dim. Maybe the non-orange one, just because it's so dark in here. It doesn't look as cool, but actually provides a little bit more light. And then the next thing that I want to get going, as you can see, I just fell off right there. Let's get some railings up. I want to see what CVC has for railings. Uh, building and then uh, fittings, I think. Got some canopies, antennas kinds of wall pipes and decorations. That's really cool. Just add some wall pipes. <laughs> of course, it looks like Bethesda built those because it blends in so well, but you know, what are you gonna do? Patchwork metal, miscellaneous. We've got some bollards here. Uh, wall speaker, really fancy clock. Ah, a garden table. This could be useful. Got some telephone poles. Uh, some dumpsters with trash. A huge utility pole. And some pallets, which I think would be useful uh, for storing our empty barrels. So let's get this table off to the side. Gonna put a pallet down here to put those barrels on. Wondering though, uh, prefabs, prefabs metal. Do we have some railings in here somewhere? Lots of really cool shacks, but I don't think there's really shack pieces. These are all rather large prefabs. These are amazing prefabs though canopies and broken buildings awesome I got some vendor shacks too yeah this is I'm kind of mad at you guys for not telling me about this mod sooner this is incredible all these detailed pieces a stage there's just way too much cool stuff here look at this Wooden bridge. It's the one from Sanctuary, I'm pretty sure. Small door frame. And some double doors. As you guys can see, I've also been playing around with some ideas for the gate out here. So I'll just put that down for now. Wooden structure. Triangular floor piece. 
Well, here's some of the vanilla style railings. We can just put a couple of those in for now. Although, hmm, the question is, was this a pre-war uh, construction? This scaffolding and platform, or was it post-war? Because if it's after war and the Minutemen built it, then it makes more sense to have the wooden supports. But if it's pre-war, what would probably be better looking supports like these. Just push that one out like that. One more for this side, it staggered a bit because of this column, which I guess is actually a pipe. Yeah, look at that rotation, that's awesome. Lines up nice and dandy. So now we have some railings. Let's, uh, yeah, add some kind of support underneath the stairs here. Let's see, wood, a miscellaneous, perhaps one of the tall wooden supports, although we're gonna have to dig for those. There's gotta be something closer, structures, metal, Miscellaneous, got some cranes. Where's those pillars? There we go. Yep, classic I beam ought to do it. Again, nice and simple. Give some support for that ramp. <laughs> Rolling those barrels of water down. So, yeah, maybe before the war, this would have been a platform that was built. Uh, for kind of overflow access to this tank and the Minutemen found this settlement and said you know what we could do with this tank fill barrels for export so I know that we've got under uh, homemaker decorations uh, miscellaneous warehouse supplies we've got some barrels some oil drums but I'm really looking for those Ah, uh, what are they? The uh, the wooden barrels, I think, would be perfect for this. And a couple of extra flatbed carts as well. No wooden barrels there. Maybe it's a uh, G2M, possibly? Decoration barrels. Look at that. So these are the water barrels that we're going to be using. These right here would be empty barrels. And this one probably just topped off. This one's ready for transport. So this settlement's gonna be where you can come to buy clean drinking water for your settlement, be it uh, Minutemen or an allied settlement or a neutral settlement, you're gonna know that the resources are in fact here. Speaking of immersion, let's not forget that with the reactor right here at the bottom of the ramp, gotta put some bollards up for safety. Say one right here and one right here I'm gonna cat a corner that one a bit and I'll cat a corner one here as well <laughs> nice makes the reactor look a bit more convincing. 
all right guys i'm gonna leave the water plant stuff alone for now and take care of one more thing before i call it for this episode uh, this box building here is one of the few things that remain of my uh, just temporary construction from good grief what two years ago now just a missile turret on a box well boxes to help defend the settlement so i want to do that a little bit nicer let me put the water cooler over here too sign of a rich settlement once again got your own water cooler yeah guys uh, let's take this tower and well just get rid of it because I saw that the CBC mod has under guard outposts this really cool concrete tower thing here Look at that, barbed wire across the bottom. So we're going to have that out on the uh, concrete outcropping there. And at least for the moment, I'm going to put this rocket turret clipped right in the top. Should still have a pretty good sight line. I really like how open this tower is. It's pretty fantastic for turrets. Now, where's that power line going? Oh, it's this one right here. So let's just go ahead and store that recruitment beacon for the moment. And get rid of this shenanigans right here. This terrible looking box thing. Get out of here. Give me that view of the ship and the super creepy seagulls. Ah, oh, the boils. We need a telephone pole, at least one, to get power over to our rocket launcher once again. Don't want it to actually be down for the count. I'm gonna try this one right here. It's got a switch on it. Okay, that's a good length right there. I think we're going to have to have one just simple pole uh, up here. Will it reach? It will reach. And now we have a much more interesting looking rocket turret defense. Not that horrible box. Of course, there's still plenty of temporary and placeholder stuff here to get rid of, like my clinic that I just dumped out here in the open. Pommel horse. And still a bunch of these toilets that I was using to increase happiness. The problem is all these settlers are idle. Got it. They won't get off the toilets so I can get rid of them. Okay. To work with you. No, 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 no. Sure. It's okay. ridiculous. I just love how the rigging is completely backwards on it too. So they're sitting on it wrong. That's getting pretty close to cleaned up here as far as my old construction mess goes. We've got the outlines of a pretty fun settlement here, guys. Something different. <laughs> with its floating carts, but something that definitely feels like it fits into my Minuteman Empire. For now, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.